G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well and I'm happy to have you here joining me for another cocktail. I'm going to start with a little story. I do get the occasional question, why is there angry in your channel name, angry cocktails, when you do not really seem angry when you make cocktails. It's to do with my original YouTube channel, it's called Angry Aussie, which was very political and I would get angry and swear a lot. And I, so I kind of had a, a brand and I was doing this as a spin-off. I'm still not sure I actually did the right thing, but we're here now with Angry Cocktails. But I do have a couple controversial takes that I've done before, and possibly my two most controversial takes is vodka's bullshit and Campari's fucking gross. And <laughs> that the Campari one in particular puts me on the outer with a lot of people who like cocktails because of one of the trendiest cocktails the last five or ten years even has been the Negroni that Campari features in very prominently and it's way too bitter for me. Campari is way too bitter for me. I have some uh, bitter aperitivos and some Amaro in Amari in my collection but just not Campari because it's gross. Oh little tip if you're in Australia and you actually like Campari, you should try Okar's Island Bitter. It's just as bitter, as in it's too bitter for me, but the flavor is much better than Campari. That's just a side. So, I am going to make a Negroni, but without Campari. But the reason I decided to do this is I have this. This is a clarified cocktail I made. Hopefully you saw my video last week where I made a very, uh, bitters heavy cocktail called You're Not My Real Trinidad. If you haven't, you should go and watch it. It's an interesting cocktail. Uh, and I tend to make the cocktails twice. Once when I make them to camera talking to you. And then I make them again usually the following day to do close-ups for the sexy slow-mo close-ups. And because that's in the middle of the day and I usually don't want to drink the cocktails again in the middle of the day. So I often, just for fun, milk clarify the cocktails and then I'll drink them during the week, often during my live streams on the Angry Aussie channel, which you should check out because they're always fun. So this is actually the clarified You're Not My Real Trinidad. And also because the milk clarification process takes a while, I often do like double measures of the ingredients when I do that, just to make it worthwhile. So I get a couple of drinks out of it. Like I, I can get uh, three or even four drinks out of it if I add extra stuff in. And for this one, besides having a lot of Angostura bitters, it also has some Amaro in there. So it's got a good bitter profile, but it isn't too bitter for me. Friends said I should call this a not grony because I'm not using Campari. This is my Negroni riff using my homemade Campari substitute. One of the strengths of the Negroni is it is pretty simple to make. It's an equal parts, one ounce of three different ingredients. And I've got my own Campari substitute here, my clarified uh, You're Not My Real Trinidad, and it's one ounce of each component. So first up, one ounce of my clarified cocktail. The second element in the Negroni is gin. And in this case, I'm gonna use my most recent gin purchase from a local distillery called Patient Wolf. They are wonderful people. I do hope to film a video or two there. They seemed very keen about that idea. I got, uh, they have a couple of gins. This one's called their Summertime Gin. Guess why, because it's got time in it. Uh, and I love, the name Patient Wolf actually comes from a quote from actress Lana Turner uh, where she said, a gentleman is simply a patient wolf, which I think is pretty cool. But this is a really nice gin. But yeah, for the Negroni, you use the gin of your choice or what you have on hand. This one's quite nice. So we are now adding one ounce, 30 mils of gin. The final element in our Negroni is a sweet vermouth. And I'm using another Australian one here. Oh, probably the very last of my Unico Yuzu Vermouth. Fantastic uh, group of people in South Australia. The winemaking side is called Unico Zello and they're co-joined with the Applewood Distillery. They actually make the Okar Island Bitter that I was talking about. Like I said, it's actually too bitter for me, but if you like Campari and you can get a hold of it, I think you'd really like Okar Island Bitter. But for this cocktail, sweet vermouth, one ounce or 30 mils going in. 
This is a stirred cocktail, so we add ice to our mixing glass and give it a stir oh, for about 30 revolutions. Now you could easily build the Negroni in the glass and stir it in the glass, but for convenience I did it in my mixing glass. Uh, in my actual rocks glass I'm going to have to drink in. I've got some of my sexy clear ice, it should look really good. Let's see, pour that in, straight through the Hawthorne strainer. You get that fantastic colour from the sweet red vermouth. And of course if you're using Campari, which is a, a very red drink as well, that's going to be in there as well. So it certainly looks good. And like I said, Campari in a Groni is way too bitter for me. Let's see what it's like with my homemade substitute. Ah, oh, you see, this is a drink for me. I like, often if I'm making a Negroni, I'll substitute the Campari for Aperol, or I also have a, a French bitter aperitif, uh, the Dolan Bitter de Chambre, that, again, it gives you the bitter notes, which makes the drink interesting, but it's not as intense as Campari. And again, everyone is going to say, just stop Campari, man. I get that I'm on the outer. I get that I'm the odd one who doesn't like Campari, but it's really too much for me. But I don't mind a little bit of bitterness in a drink. So yes, you don't necessarily want to go to the trouble I went to of milk clarifying a drink that's mostly Angostura bitters, but something simple like Aperol, like I said, Dolan's Bitter de Chambre. I think Dolan actually make a couple of bitters. Um, it's not bad, you get, again, with a nice sweet vermouth, you get really rich fruitiness from the vermouth, you get some nice botanicals from the gin, and just a little bit of bitterness. We've used Campari way too much bitterness. But for me, this is a good drink. Uh, yep, yep, I'm fine with this one. Uh, you can keep your Campari. Uh, I'm gonna have substitutes every time. But <laughs> I don't know if that's controversial enough for you. If you get a slight intimation of where the uh, Angry Aussie moniker comes from, just when I really don't like something, I'm not shy about saying it. And in this case, Campari, get out. Just get, 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 get the hell out, Campari. You're not welcome in my house. Uh, or my glass, for that matter. I hope I haven't offended Campari lovers too much. Uh, come back another day where I will say again how much I really dislike Campari. So you don't want to miss that, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it would be great if you did subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos, and we can have a bit of fun exploring the world of cocktails. Because that was meant to be where I just put it. And yes, this is not the first cocktail I've made in this recording session. <laughs> Just because I don't like Campari doesn't mean you don't have to like Campari. But if you don't, solidarity, because everyone else tells us we should like Campari, and I really don't. But <laughs> having said that, I'm going to finish this off now. Hope you take care of yourself in the meantime, and take the opportunity to take care of people around you as well. But until I see you again, I hope you stay well, and I will just leave you with... Cheers.